An excavation at Oakham Castle, which included people from the local community and ex-members of the military working together. Archaeology is well suited for veterans. Got structure and discipline to it, and those are all things that members of the armed services obviously have as well. And it seems to be um, quite nicely meshed together. But archaeology also has a sort of informality to it, I think, that um, and with other members of the community taking part, it gives them a new experience, but one that is sort of grounded in, in something they're used to. The link between veterans and archaeology is not new. Operation Nightingale was set up in 2011, offering the opportunity for ex-service personnel to take part in digs. Breaking Ground Heritage was set up to work alongside Nightingale, yes, helping to rehabilitate physically and mentally wounded ex-members of the armed forces, but also offering them potentially a full-time career in archaeology. Dickie Bennett set up the project. The former Royal Marine was injured twice in Afghanistan and medically discharged, turning to archaeology. I soon noticed like, the benefits it was having on me. I was starting to feel better, I was starting to feel included, I was starting to want to be around people again. Um, and the more I was involved in these projects, the more benefit I could see it was having, uh, and also on the people around me. It uses a lot of the skills that they've attained in the military, attention to detail, black humour, and it lets them refocus them in, a, in a, another capacity, and in this way, uh, archaeology. Breaking Ground Heritage takes veterans to digs, including this one in France. It also conducts research and teaches craft skills. Some veterans, with the project's support, have gone on to take degrees and work in the commercial sector. Those in the industry understand what it can give to people. You're not distracted by anything. You're completely immersed in this process of excavating, of analysing, looking at the things that are coming out of the ground. Just there in the moment with other people. You learn so much about each other. It's, it's almost like this community event that happens coming together on an archaeological excavation. It's, it's quite something. Sadly, many community digs have been put on hold because of the pandemic. The project plans to continue its work, though, later this year. Derek Johnson, ITV News.